Both soft and hard-boiled Tammies deserve your respect. Isn't Frisk allergic to Tammies? WHO TOUCHED THE CHILD?! Teminator, can you please give them space? They're allergic to Tams. It's alright, I'm only a little allergic. Today. Oh, hey! Random voices! I'm good. How'd you get in my house? Oh, they've always been here, Flowers. They just didn't have anything to say before. Hey, Flowers and Company, how's it hanging? Looking forward to the match? I made a sign, but you won't be able to see it because we're in different dimensions. I figured it was the thought that counts. Sick! Your otherworldly support has lit a flame in my soul! I'm definitely gonna crush that stupid water balloon next Sunday with this guy in my corner! Oh, <laughs> well, try not to let that soul of yours set off the fire alarm again. So, Flowers, is this going to be one heck of a kayfabe showdown? Or is a human about to get legitimately dropped on live TV? I'm gonna drop on her like a truckload of bricks! Sides, she ain't the real wrestler. You heard how she called wrestling a fake slap fight. A fighter like her isn't gonna know how to pull her punches. And she sure as heck ain't gonna respect anyone who holds back. So, Flowers, how do you think your match with Adrian Torres is gonna go? Are you aiming for crippling her or putting her in a coma for the rest of her life? What do you take me for? I just want her out of my town and out of my face. There's rules in the pit, and there's healers on standby. Also, if I did put her in a coma, then I'd friggin' lose my job. You think I'd let her take my job from me? Braids, I don't mean to dredge up what happened, but I must ask, are you doing okay? Adjusting well? I'm sure I'm not the only one concerned for you after, you know. Well, I'm learning how to do things differently, and that's taking time. Generally speaking, we've decided not to go starting fights with humans again. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You guys don't like it, but I plan on finishing this whether you like it or not. And we don't. Are you making a decorative basket? It looks pretty good so far. Oh, thank you so much. It's slower to make them one-handed. But I'm not going to give up on it. I weaved my own body, you know. Once it was done, it was easy to bond with. When you make something yourself, you can't help but feel connected to it. Bond with? Braids, were you previously a ghost? Well... Yes. I've been corporeal for about five years now. I met Flowers and Twinkie way before I'd even thought up what kind of body I wanted. And when I did, they helped me make it. Operation Corn Ice was a complete <laughs> success! I don't mean to sound blunt or rude, but if you braided your body, why not braid a new arm? Would it not function the same, now that it'd be added on and not part of the original form? Or has the thought simply not come to pass? I could braid a new arm, but trying to attach it to my body would be an exercise in futility. Besides, it wouldn't be the same. Flowers, I'm gonna be real with you. I can understand being pissed at Adrian for maiming braids, and I really want to be on your side, believe it or not. But why treat Frisk the way you did back at the cafe? Like, they didn't do anything other than try to get you two to talk things out. Nothing wrong with that. For all you knew, she could have lied to them about what happened at the alley. They may be an ambassador for monsters, but they're still a ten-year-old kid, you know? Listen, 
I just told that kid the truth. I don't think they should be the ambassador. And if that hurts their feelings, well, I ain't gonna lie to them, you know? A kid ain't got no business being in that kind of position. Kids should worry about kid stuff. Like homework and fooling around with the friends. Not working for the frigging government. What the heck was King Fluffabrains even thinking? Flowers, you seem like someone to respect strength. So I just want to point out that Frisk got beaten pretty severely many, many times in the underground, but they still decided to become the monster ambassador. Beaten? How many times were you beaten within an inch of your life by humans, Flowers? Because I'm pretty sure Frisk has you beat with their journey through the underground. You're kidding me. No, that's true. I was talking to Doggo the other day, and he said him and the whole dog squad in Snowden all tried to beat up Frisk. But Frisk didn't fight back and just kind of pet them a lot. I just want to say you're lucky to have Frisk representing Monsters Flowers. Do you even have an idea of how many times they were nearly beaten to death? As far as being ambassador? It don't matter how much they like monsters, or how many beatings they've taken. They're still a kid and a human. Getting your b**** handed to you doesn't make you a king. It makes you a victim. And it makes those big smudgy bow wows a pack of bullies that need to be brought low! Flowers, you can't just punch all of your problems. Flowers, maybe you should finish your first grudge match before you go starting another one. The next morning... <sighs> Excuse me, but does the person named Adrian live here? really important. Uh, are you okay, dude? Oh golly, oh gosh, you hurt. Oh dear, I'm so sorry. I, oh no, I've had quite a morning. Do you want to come in and talk about it? I can throw in a pot of coffee or, uh, I don't know, do you like Pop-Tarts? Yeah, okay. Thanks. Well, make yourself at home. I'm gonna go wake up. Alright. Oh no, Maverick, what's wrong? What? What's so important, Maverick? Well, I don't know if you've heard, but... Apparently, Adrian is fighting a pro wrestler in a death match, and the wrestler in question happens to be one of the alleyway thugs from before. That doesn't seem like a mere coincidence to me. No, I fear something more sinister is at work here, and I plan to do something about it. Adrian, have the others explained resets and save to you yet? If so, what are your thoughts on the matter? Yeah, Frisk told me about their temporary time travel powers. Pretty wild stuff. From what I can tell, they were pretty responsible with it too, given the circumstances. They're a good kid. Jason, you should go to Adrian's place. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Jason! How's it going? Jason, we're ghosts! Ooh. You should go to Adrian's place or we'll keep haunting you! Ooh. Guys, this is not okay. 
waking me up at the butt crack of dawn for some kind of stupid practical joke? Are you five? Do you all collectively share one brain cell? Uh, I'll go check on her anyway, because I'm her friend. And if she was actually in trouble, I'd feel bad for just ignoring it. But it's not because I'm falling for your dumb prank. So, you guys. Oh, hi, Jason. Uh, hi, Maverick. Who are you doing? Uh, what are you doing here? Don't forget to show you care with likes, comments, and shares. Can't wait to see more? Not to worry, there is a link to the comic in the description, just for that very purpose. Can't wait to hear my voice? Subscribe and click the bell so you can know the moment I post the next video. Want to be an early bird? Patrons get access to early videos and other neato content. And whatever you do, stay tuned! Shout out to Ted Fritz for being an ultra patron.